Prayer comes most naturally whenever the stakes are the highest. In fact, speaking of stakes, let's say you have this thick, beautiful ribeye steak and, and you're hoping that it turns out a nice, juicy, medium rare. Not medium, certainly not medium well, medium rare. I'm guessing you won't say a quick prayer about it. But you get diagnosed with cancer or the company announces that it's downsizing, then you just might. What's really at stake when we pray? That's the first question we want to consider as we look at this experiment on prayer that we learn about in 1 Kings chapter 18. Here's how it happened. The king of Israel, King Ahab, and the Lord's prophet Elijah were sort of at each other's throats. Each one was fed up with the other, but for very different reasons. Elijah was upset with Ahab because Ahab had led God's people away from worship of the one true God and into worship of a false god named Baal. In contrast, Ahab was upset with Elijah because through Elijah, God had announced that there would be a famine in the land. And in fact, for several years, there had been absolutely no rain in Israel. So Elijah proposes this experiment. The prophets of Baal are going to set up an altar to their God. Elijah is going to set up an altar to the Lord. Both of them will pray. And whichever God answers by sending down fire to consume the sacrifice on the altar, that God is the true God. Now, what's important to note is what's at stake for each of the parties in this experiment. For Ahab, he just wants it to rain. <laughs> He just wants rain and the crops that would come along with the rain. But Elijah, Elijah wants God's people to turn back to him. In other words, what's at stake for Ahab in this experiment is stuff. What's at stake for Elijah is souls. Just like King Ahab, we might be very quick to pray whenever the stakes are high. When it's our health, our security, our protection that's on the line. But it's then that God would want us to know that the stakes for prayer are actually much higher. That prayer is not just about getting the good stuff that God has that we want. No, prayer is about the soul of the one who is praying. God invites us to pray. God wants us to call on him in every trouble because prayer is evidence that he is our God. And God wants nothing more than to be our God. God knows that all idols, all false gods are worthless and none of them can save us. He said through the prophet Isaiah, There is no God apart from me, a righteous God and Savior. There is none but me. It can be frustrating when the stakes are high and it seems as though prayer isn't working, but it's then that we need to remember that as high as we might think, think the stakes are, they're actually even higher. When we pray, we might not always get the stuff that we want, but when we pray, God has the soul that he wants. Do you struggle to find time to connect with God? Well, click here to subscribe to our daily email where we'll make sure that you hear about God's promises, his love, and his amazing word.